a transparent dielectric coating is applied to glass which is having the relative permittivity is 4 and relative permeability is 1. To eliminate the reflection of a red light having the free space wavelength is 0.75 micrometer. The minimum thickness of the dielectric coating in micrometer that can be used is. Okay. So, what they are telling means some dielectric coating has been applied on the glass material for avoiding the reflections. Okay. So, this concept is basically related to slab concept. Okay. So, we have studied about uh, this uh, interface between the two media. Medium 1, medium 2. This is normal to the interface. Okay, this is the interface, and this one is normal to the interface. We can incident the waves in two ways one is normal incidence, second one is oblique incidence. So, when you take the oblique incidence like this, the angle of incidence is represented with theta i. Okay. So, because of the impedance mismatches, what will happen? Certain part of this input signal will be reflected back and remaining will be transmitted into the other medium. In order to avoid these reflections, what we need to do? One way is incidenting this uh, electromagnetic wave with Brewster angle. That is one criteria. Okay, if your incident angle is the Brewster angle, then this reflected wave can be avoided. Other way is, our intention is to send, to transmit the signal from medium 1 to medium 2. Okay. So, here what we can do in the sense, we will insert the new media in between these two. That means, this is medium 1, this is medium 2. Now, the new media 3, it was inserted in between these two, like a slab. Okay. So, because of this one, this is the normal to the interfaces, here two interfaces are there, that is what you need to consider. Okay. So, this is the interface between medium 1 and medium 3, this is the interface between medium 3 and medium 2. Okay. So, if you select the medium 3, that is in between medium 1 and medium 2 properly, then without having the reflections in the medium 1, we can transmit the signal to the medium 2 that is possible okay how it is possible actually so many reflections will be there in the medium 3 here okay generally what will happen means some little bit information i will give so this particular analysis we are doing with respect to normal incidence for example but for your convenience i am taking here looking like a oblique incidence but that is a normal incidence only keep that in your mind so, we have incident like this because of the impedance mismatch, some part will be reflected back and some part will be transmitted into the medium 3. And here one more interface is there, impedance mismatching is there. So, something will be transmitted, something will be reflected. Now, with respect to this interface, now this incoming signal is the incident wave. Again, impedance mismatching is there, something will be transmitted, something will be reflected. Now, this particular signal is the interface for the is the incident wave for this particular interface. So, some power will be transmitted, some power will be reflected. So, this process will be continued. Okay. And if you see this particular reflection uh, wave, okay, equation, and from that we can able to get the reflection coefficient by dividing with the incident wave power, then we will get here reflection coefficient. And for what purpose we are working here? We need to have no reflections here. So, make that reflection coefficient is equal to 0. That will be like numerator by denominator. So, by making that reflection coefficient is equal to 0, what you will get in the sense, the conclusion is, this width must be equal to lambda by 4. That means, this slab width, if you take lambda by 4, then you will not be having the reflections. Okay, that is what we are performing here. Okay. And one more thing is, here three media are there. So, and each medium is having certain permittivity and permeability. So, for example, it is epsilon R1, 
because I am representing it is medium 3, this is epsilon r3, it is medium 2 means epsilon r2. Okay, and one more condition we will get that is epsilon r3 is the geometric mean of epsilon r1 and epsilon r2. And thickness of the slab 3 is lambda by 4. This is the thickness of the slab which is present in between the medium 1 and medium 2. Thickness of slab, that particular slab. These are the two important conclusions we will get regarding this particular concept. Okay. And here, if you apply this particular knowledge to the this question, the transparent dielectric coating is applied to the glass. You take one glass material, having epsilon r is equal to 4 and mu r is equal to 1. And here we are making some coating, dielectric coating, okay, to eliminate the reflection of the red light. That is lambda naught is equal to having the wavelength, free space wavelength lambda naught is equal to 0.75 micrometer. Minimum thickness of the dielectric coating in micrometer that can be used is. So, minimum thickness is lambda by 4. So, here our job is to calculate lambda by 4. This is what they are asking. And this side what is there? Air, air will be there. So, here uh, glass material having these two properties and here some dielectric coating is there. We don't know the properties of that one, but here only we need to calculate the lambda by 4. So, generally lambda is given by lambda naught by root of epsilon r. If you take this is medium 1 and this is medium 3 and it is medium 2, we need to divide with here epsilon r3. So, here first thing is to get lambda, we need to ca calculate epsilon r3 also. Okay. So, that can be obtained by using this particular rule. So, epsilon r3 is equal to epsilon r1 they have given as 4, epsilon r2 is actually air, it is related to air. In air, relative permittivity is 1, that means epsilon r3 is equal to 2 we got. Okay. Then we can ready to calculate this particular lambda. So, lambda is equal to lambda naught by root of epsilon r3, that is equal to lambda naught they have given. 0.75 micrometer by root 2 but it is not the answer because lambda by 4 is the thickness so calculate lambda by 4 is equal to 0.75 micro by root 2 into what is this 4 here 4 we have to substitute so if you calculate this one that is the width of the slab that is required or width of this particular coating that is required for avoiding the reflections. So, that is what we need to do. Okay. So, it is a simple calculation you can able to perform here. Okay. So, the answer may be 0 0.133 micrometer. Okay. So, in this way, this particular uh, question can be answered. Thank you.